Hello and welcome to RC Model Reviews. Today, a DIY project I've been promising for quite some time and I figured, well, I better get out and do it. So here we go. This is how we're going to turn one of these into a supply for your LiPo charger or for anything else that needs 12 volts around the workshop or around your hobby shop, whatever. Uh, this is a switched mode power supply out of an old computer and we've all got old computers laying around. Um, who hasn't upgraded their computer and found that now they've got a box that they don't use anymore because it's just too slow or too old or it only runs Windows 1.3 or something, you know. So you stick that box in a cupboard or in a, out the back in the garage and you think one day I'll do something with it. And you never do, which is good because now you can pull it apart, take this out and use it with your LiPo charger to charge all those LiPos you've got laying around. So without further ado, let's have a look at how we do that. Right, here is our power supply. In fact, I've got two power supplies here because there really are two different types. One you'll find has a little off and on switch here. The other one doesn't. But they both work the same. They're both out of PC, AT and, and older computers, or and newer computers, I should say. So uh, you'll find they may come in slightly different sizes and things, but they all do basically the same thing. So here is how we modify the wires that come out of here to give us a power supply. Now, the first clue that we might be able to use one of these power supplies for our LiPo chargers and so forth is on the label. You see on this one, it says this is a 300 watt power supply and it tells us what the different colored wires over here, it says a whole raft of different, different colors. It tells us what these different colored wires do, which is quite important. The one we're looking for is the yellow wire because yellow is 12 volts, in this case at 10 amps, which is quite a bit. So we can draw 120 watts on the 12 volt supply out of this power supply. But first of all, if you just plug this in, notice it's got the normal um, connector here. If you plug that into the mains and turn it on, nothing will happen if you've unplugged it from your computer. And that's because most PCs have a little button on the front, which is the soft start button or the button that you use to turn on the power supply. And one of the leads from the power supply, we'll use this one for example, one of these leads here, in fact this big fat one, plugs into your computer's motherboard and when you push the switch on the front panel it simply shorts one of these wires to ground to tell the power supply it's time to turn on. Now, knowing which wire of course is the crucial thing because you've got to short that wire to the ground in order to make it all work. Now, here's one straight out of the computer as you would find it. On the other side I have one that I've modified. I can't find the right lead, here we go. This is the one I've modified and you'll see, look, I've cut this wire. If you have a look from the front, you'll see which wire it is that I have cut. You can count those over. It is the one, two, three, fourth from the left when you're looking at the plug with the little titty bit at the top. Fourth from the left top row. That's the wire you have to cut. It may be green, it may be grey. On this one it's grey, but on this one, as you can see, it's green. I think, where are we? One, one, two, three, four. Yes, it's a green wire. So it can be green or grey, and that is the switch signal to the power supply. You need to cut that. And the other end that you have cut, so if you look here, it's a bit hard when you're hand holding the, the, the camera and trying to wiggle all the wires around. You'll see here that this is the grey wire here that used to go all the way through to there. I've cut it, and what I've done is I have joined it to one of the black wires. Now it doesn't matter which black wire, because all the black wires are zero volts. If we look on here, we'll see somewhere on here it will say black. Black is ground. So just cut that wire fourth from fourth from the left when looking at the front of the connector on the top row. Cut that wire and the piece that comes out of the power supply, the piece that goes back to the power supply there, join that to ground. You can just cut one of the black wires and well, as long as that wire goes back to the power supply, join it to ground, and away you go. That means when you plug this in, and when you turn it on, the power supply will start spinning, and you will have 12 volts on every single one of these yellow wires. And there are a lot of them, because there are lots of plugs associated with a PC. All those plugs, all the yellow wires will have 12 volts on them. So what you can do is just take one of the yellow wires and cut it, and then you can hook your crocodile clip from your charger onto there. The negative side, of course, goes to any of the black wires. Now, I wouldn't recommend drawing 10 amps through a single one of these yellow wires. So what you should do is take some of the yellow wires, and as I say, there are lots of them, and parallel them up. It means just cut them off, twist them together so they can carry the current, and then hook your charger up to there. If you want to do it in a sophisticated manner, you probably want to create a little piece of wood with some little bars on it and wire these yellow and black wires onto it so that you 
have a nice solid way to clip your clip leads on. Or you could find a matching plug for this, simply plug it in here, because this has a ye two yellow wires and two black wires. So that would handle easily carry the 10 amps, get a matching plug, put it on there, and then make a connector up for your charger. So that's it, there's really nothing to it. I'll show you how this one works. Okay, here's our power supply sitting on the floor. We've got the mains plugged in the back, and this is the one with the switch on it. So it's not going at the moment. As you can see, the charger is dark, nothing happening. I've run just a couple of crock leads from the charger input to just a pair of the yellow and the black wires, making sure not to short them out because it would do us no good at all. The green or the gray wire that I was talking about earlier has been connected to ground. So we've got green or gray to black. So when I turn on the power supply using the little switch, the charger should burst into life and make a little noise. Let's see if that happens. There we go. So there it is, all ready to charge our LiPos. And that's all you have to do with this modification to turn your computer power supply into a 12 volt supply for running your LiPos. But as I say, you really want something a little more sophisticated than this. But I just uh, did this very quickly so you could see when I do it properly, it'll look wonderful. In the meantime, if you've got any questions, just put them on the bottom of this video. I'll do my best to answer them. And stay tuned for more DIY projects from RC Model Reviews on YouTube.